This is KK6 Foxtrot Unit from Tango with another radio restoration project. Uh, I got this Heathkit HW100 uh, from the uh, local Boy Scout Council again, one of the uh, radios I was restoring for them, and uh, put it back into uh, into service. It actually was not working at all, just a pile of parts, um, which kind of makes it fun. Um, what uh, what I got to do is, uh, well, the, the most interesting one, which is going to be hard to see here in the light, but this is a... Uh, this is the plug that goes in the back of the heat kit and there's a key in the back which tells you what the polarity is and that thing was completely broken off so if anyone knows about these radios they have very high voltage so that means you could plug in your supply volt voltage your line and have 800 volts go to ground or who knows what anyway that uh, was not pretty but uh, notice that before I plug anything in so fix that uh, that could be lethal so I'll always check that on these uh, two rigs um, also uh, uh, to change all the electrolytic capacitors, um, pretty much any rig of this age, even newer than this, uh, even up to the 80s now, uh, the first thing I do is remove, uh, remove and replace the electrolytic capacitors, which tend to dry out, and uh, if you don't use them, they tend to go bad. Um, it's kind of like uh, cars, if you don't drive them a lot, uh, they'll, uh, uh, they don't do as well. So um, actually, if you've got a radio that you use a lot, uh, you might not have a problem because those electrolytics are, uh, are uh, keeping in use. So... Anyway, what else happened here? Uh, this uh, radio also uh, needed a lot of new tubes. Ran through, tested them all. I've got a tube tester. If you ever want to restore an old radio, you really have to have a tube tester. Um, there's no if ands, or buts about that. Otherwise, you're just kind of guessing whether or not stuff works. Um, and uh, those things work real well. Uh, the other things that happened is the uh, this uses a 6146 tube for the finals. There's two of them. And... Uh, trying to figure out what was going on here and it turned out both of those had been uh, rattled loose out of their sockets um, and in fact there's a big coil there uh, I believe it's a tank coil uh, which was broken with, on the solder joint so I think someone probably broke uh, dropped this radio and broke everything inside it at one point um, so that was also restored so anyway uh, it's all back and running uh, we'll tune around a little bit and uh, the only two things that are, are not working still on this radio, which uh, I'll probably leave for the next person to fix. Um, one is there's a knob missing for the load, and that would normally go right here uh, next to the final. And it moves and changes inside, but there's, you just need a knob on the outside. Uh, I think they're selling those on eBay. And then um, uh, the other thing is the dial numbers on this are cracked, which means that uh, on occasion, the uh, dial, the the dial indicator hangs up, and I think someone sells a replacement for those as well. Um, I'm trying to uh, just get this one up and running so that uh, the Boy Scouts can uh, sell it for their fundraiser. So, uh, not doing everything, and it's always fun to leave a few things for people to fix anyway. So, um, let's tune around and listen. It's like a, uh, a pit. It's like a money pit. But, uh, uh, Down to 40 meters, see if there's anything there. Yeah, click.
Okay, I'd love to see that. Did you tell me you're not far? Oh, panel 50. You know, with 85 kilowatts, this one, that's a biggie. No, no, 56 panels, I guess, which comes out to a 14 kilowatt system. But the other day when uh, he was showing me everything and showing me uh, uh, the uh, smartphone app, uh, he was, I think he was up to 89 kilowatts for the day. Oh, that's what I'm thinking of. I was thinking, yeah, I think you gave me a number of 85 kilowatts for some one other day, and that's what I was thinking of. Uh, well, that's... Uh... Kilo, Kilo 6, Foxtrot, Uniform Tango. Good, how are you? You're about a 5.6, but a lot of QSB. Thanks for the 4.2, and uh, good luck. And what state are you in? Uh, California, California. Uh, California, California, Charlie Alpha. Okay, I got you, California. Uh, CQ, it's Kevin Charlie. Alpha Tango, Oscar, you're 59. 59, what is your location out there, over? Uh, we're transmitting from, uh, about 20 miles north of Everett, Washington, where the blowing, blowing plant is, uh, is at. And uh, we're a little bit east of the Boeing plant. So we're in the uh, the northern part of Washington State on the western side. And uh, my name is John. I'm, my home call is November 7, Mike Zoo. I'm a guest operator at W7FOY. Uh, this is the Boeing affiliated club for the Everett plant. And if you'd like information about the uh, special event station, you can go to whiskeyzeromikealpha.org. Over. Oh, yeah, right, go. Okay, very good. Nice to work you, 73. Whiskey 7, Foxtrot, Lima, Yankee. Kilo, Kilo 6, Foxtrot, Uniform, Tango. Whiskey Bravo 6, Victor, Yankee, Hotel. Anyway, this is KK6, Foxtrot, Uniform, Tango with the Heathkit HW100.